Welcome to GMAT's 41's YouTube channel. In this video, I've got this question I'd like us to look at. It is a physics problem extracted from electrostatics, capacitor aspect of that topic. Let's see what we've got here in this question. The capacitance of a capacitor is 5 microfarad. If the capacitor discharges through a high resistor of 2 ohms and the initial charge stored is 20 coulomb, the time during which the final charge is 37% of the original is... Is the question scary? Come, 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 all right? The GMAT 41 is going to show you how simple this problem is. There is nothing there. Now, when dealing with the discharge process of a capacitor, we have what we call the equation of the exponential decay of the discharge process of a capacitor. Don't worry about that equation yet. I just mentioned that because the formula we need to use to determine, all right, the time during which the final charge is going to become 37% of the original, it is a part of that equation that we make use of, okay? And the formula is as simple as this. The time when the final charge will become 37% of the original charge is called the time constant. And the time constant T is simply the capacitance of the capacitor times the resistance. That's how simple this question is. Now, what is the capacitance of the capacitor here? That's 5 microfarad. We have to convert it to SI units. So that's 5 times 10 to the power of minus 6. Since we are multiplying by the resistance and because the resistance is not in micro ohms, it's not, it's just in ohms. So we solve in SI unit, convert this to SI unit in farad, look at it, then multiply by the resistance. If you work on this, 2 times 5 is going to give you 10. So we have 10 times 10 to the power of minus 6. Make use of multiplication law of indices, add the powers of the 10. This is going to give you 10 to the power of minus 5 seconds. So, this is the time during which the final charge is going to become 37% of the original. If you're yet to subscribe to this channel, hit the subscription icon, turn on the notification bell, select all, so that once I upload any content or come on live, YouTube will notify you right away. Remember, you can become a channel member to get access to the full key lecture videos on your physics, chemistry, math, and other related courses. See you next.